Hello children, once again welcome back to the session. Now we are discussing about tropical rain forest. So these regions receive the maximum amount of rainfall. But the climate is hot. The minimum temperature is, what is the minimum temperature? Yes, more than 15 degrees Celsius. And the maximum temperature is more than 40 degrees Celsius. So we have seen about the what? Yes, red eye frog. The second one is this monkey. So how does it adapt to the condition? It has a long tail. What is it? Long tail. This long tail tail helps it in catching the branches, hold the branches, and it can reach the top of a tree also. So, and what does it eat? It, it takes food. So it mostly lives in tree and it does not come down. Okay. And the second one is token. It is a type of bird. So what is its adaptation character? It has a long beak. So this long beak helps it in putting a hole in the branches and eating the taking its food. Clear children? And so there are different kinds of animals and birds which live in the tropical forest, rainforest. So there is heavy competition for the food. Some animals and birds, they offer the food which is not available to all. For example, monkeys prepare the food like which are in the top of the tree. So that is not accessible to everyone. Yes or no? So the food also varies from them. And one more point is the animals and the birds which are living in this tropical rainforest, they have a sharp sense, sharp sense of eyesight, hearing, sensitive hearing, sharp eyesight, thick skin. What is it? Thick skin and skin color, which helps them to live in the surrounding. They have what? Sharp hearing, sensitive eyesight and a thick skin which helps them to live in the climatic condition. Clear children? So we move on to the next one. And so we have seen and there are big cats like lions and tigers. So these lion and tiger have a thick skin and they have a sensitive hearing. Okay. And I said you write this long tail monkey. It is also called as beard ape. What is it? Beard. You know beard that? Beard ape. And it, it is found in western guards. Where is this monkey found? It is found in western guards. Okay. And then it is a good climber. It is a good climber. And it spends most of the time in tree. It spends most of the time in tree. It feeds mainly on fruits. It feeds mainly on fruits and eats seeds, young leaves, stem, flower and buds. It eats root, seeds, leaves, stem, flower and buds. Okay children. And they are able to get everything from the tree itself. So they rarely come down to the ground. These monkeys rarely come down to the ground because all their needs are there. In, they are able to get it from the tree itself. So they don't often come down. And the next one is, what's the next one children? Yes. So an Indian elephant. So one of the most important animal which lives in this tropical rainforest or Elephant. Okay. And this elephant has some of the characteristics which helps them to adopt in the climatic condition. So it has a trunk, right? It has a trunk. So they use this trunk for as a nose. They use this trunk as a nose and it has a strong sense of smell. Their trunk has a song. Sorry, strong sense of smell. Okay. 
and the trunk is also useful for them to pick the food. It is useful for picking the food and they have tusk. Trunk is this, look at here. What is this? Trunk and they have tusk. This tusk are called as modified teeth of elephant. So tusk is a modified teeth of elephant and it helps them to tear the bark of tree. This trunk, trunk helps them to tear, tear the bark of trees which the animals, which the elephants love to eat. So the elephant is able to handle the food competition in the tropical rain forest. They have a large ears. They have what? Large ears and they are able to hear even very soft sound. Clear children? So these are all the characteristics of animals which helps them to adopt in the polar and the tropical rain forest. Now shall we have a recap from first up to this, this lesson is completed. Okay children, so we had seen about weather. So the day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere with respect to temperature, humidity, rainfall and wind speed is called as weather. So what are the elements of weather? Name some elements of weather. Very good. Temperature, humidity, rainfall and wind speed. These are called as elements of weather. And then we have seen about what are the elements? Temperature. Temperature is nothing but it is used to express the hotness or coldness of a body. It is measured by an instrument called thermometer. We have seen different types of thermometer. Yes, laboratory, clinical and then digital maximum minimum thermometer which is used for measuring the temperature of day. Next, humidity. So, the concentration or the presence of water vapor in the air. So, it is invisible. We are not able to see that humidity, but we are able to feel that. We are children. Rainfall. So, the vapors which evaporates from the water bodies reaches the clouds. That is the top. And they are condensed to form water droplets. And they reaches the earth under the force of gravity. Climate. Climate it is nothing but it is a long term average weather condition taken over a period of 30 or 25 years. Climate is the average weather. What is it? Weather is taken for one day. Climate is taken over the average of weather for certain period like 25 years or 30 years. Yes. So they have given the report of Jammu and Kashmir. Yes. And then Tirunandapuram which is in Kerala. So compared to these places, what about Jammu and Kashmir? It is cold. Yes or no? Jammu and Kashmir is cold compared to Kerala. But in case of rainfall, Kerala receives the more rainfall. So, which place receives the highest rainfall in India, children? Which place? Very good. Chirapunji in Mehaya receives the maximum amount of rainfall. Okay. Next, we have seen climate and adaptation. We have seen what? Climate and adaptation. So, I said you right, children, these zones. So, it is divided into three. They are temperate region. Tropical zones and then polar zones. Polar zones, temperature zones and then tropical zones. So in the previous class we have seen about the polar zones. Today's session we have completed this tropical rainforest. I said you right, it is near the equator. This tropical rainforest is located near to the equator. So this red region. This red region represents the tropical rain forest. Next, polar region. Yes. So, what is this polar region, children? Arctic and Antarctic regions are called as polar regions. And then we have seen about latitudes and longitudes. Yes or no? So, they are imaginary lines which are drawn. Latitude means 
east to west the lines which are drawn from east to west and longitude means lines drawn from north to south so this latitude and longitude helps in determining the exact place exact position of a place okay so the polar regions are canada russia greenland united states norway sweden finland and iceland so this is the region right there in the map it is shown what are the regions which comes under the category of polar zones is what is the condition of this polar region extreme cold climate snow sun does not set for 6 month and does not rise for 6 month the minimum temperature is minus 37 degree celsius what is the minimum temperature minus 37 degree celsius and these are the animals which lives in the polar region leopard seal penguin arctic wolf walrus arctic fox and polar bear and we have discussed about two what are the penguin and polar bear polar bear they are carnivore because they are flesh eating animals so what are the adopted characters they have they have a white fur two layer of skin and a layer of fat under the skin yes they have a white feet which helps them to swim and walk on the ice they are white and the background is also white so they are easily able to catch their prey so we had seen up to this right and today what we have discussed so they are good swimmers is yes or no they penguins they do have a thick skin and a fat which is there under the skin and they used to huddle together huddle means what being close with the other okay being close with the other so it gives a warm between them warmness between them so they are huddled between the others and then they are also good swimmers they are flightless birds they are good swimmers but they are flightless birds okay children next what we have seen tropical rain forest tropical rain forest the climate is maximum what is the maximum temperature more than 40 degree celsius and minimum is more than 15 degree celsius then what are the animals we have seen red eye frog red eye frog so what do they have they have a sticky pads which helps them to climb trees then monkey so they have a long tail then toucan they had a long beak next we had discussed about elephant what is it elephant so what are the characters which the elephant possess children they have a tusk they have tusk which helps them in smelling they have a strong sense of smell and this tusk helps them in picking up the foods and the trunk or the modified teeth what is it the trunk or the modified teeth and this trunk helps them in tearing the bark of tree and eat its food they have a large ears which are good sense of hear these are the adaptation characters which the elephant have okay children so up to this this session ends and our seventh lesson that is climate weather and adaptation of animal is completed go through the lesson underline the important points if you have any doubts in this lesson just clarify your doubts with me okay children are you clear read the lesson completely underline the important words if you have any doubts in this lesson just clarify your doubts with me Okay children thank you children and thank you all for listening the class have a nice day